So I started my rough draft of my metamorphosis and I'm going to be creating one that is a homophone, which is two words that sound alike but have different meanings. So mouse, the animal, and mouse as in computer mouse. So when I was drawing and I was looking for images online, I was looking for images that look kind of the same, that my mouse was in the same position um, computer mouse and the uh, animal mouse, you know, and then I drew the tail and the cord in the same position. So you want to make sure there are similarities in your number one drawing and then your last drawing. You have to have at least four steps. You can have more, but you have to have four. All right, so you want to start off by just drawing a rough draft of your number one and your number four. I didn't put much details in it. I just did a contour drawing, just the outline and important edges of the object or thing. So you can see I have a, some, you know, details I need to add, but it's, a, it's just the original shape and size that I want to start with. So to start my number two drawing, I am going to take a piece of paper, any type of paper. It can be line paper, computer paper. I actually don't have any plain paper up here in Maine um, that's thin enough to trace. So I'm using just a piece of line paper. So what I need to do is, and this is the time I'm letting you trace, I know. But you want to trace your number one drawing. So you just want to make sure... Kind of hard to hold the phone and trace, but I think I can do it. And you don't have to put every detail, but you want to get that that shape because from here, this is going to be what you're going to use to morph. Now your morph, your number two and your number three drawings look funky because they're in the middle of a metamorphosis. So they're going to have, you know, little details that are gonna look funny and that's okay. And just kinda doing the best I can to get the details, you know, like a foot there and where that tail is. Because it's subtle changes that you're going to be making. So now that I've traced that and then my eyes around here, I got some whiskers. So I'm gonna take away my original drawing. Now, I need to look at where I need to go. So I need to go from here to here, but I have a step three, because this is only number two. So you can see that the ears need to go away. You know, there's nothing up here. Um, right here, the, the edge I think has to get a little higher and come down. The feet are going to start going away, but we don't want to go and the head's going to start rounding. You don't want to go too fast, too quick. Sometimes it's a good idea to use a different color when you're doing this to help you know what lines are number one and number two. So I am going, so my pencil line is going to be my number one. So I want to keep a little of the ears. And you can see that I'm just kind of mirroring some of the shape, but not keeping it totally the same. Maybe I'll just make the feet little nubs like that, not as much detail. And the tail is pretty much gonna stay the same. I might add some details in my final drawing to make the tail maybe have a little tiny bit of fur. You know, it's definitely not gonna have this rounded part. So maybe I'll just kind of stop it there. So I'm gonna do that. And then maybe I'll just keep some of the eye. I'll just do like that and no detail inside. Maybe just one whisker. Maybe two whiskers, because each of them have three. A little line inside of the ear. So I can erase the pencil line now, so we can see what that morph is. And if you think you did too much, too big of a, 
of a jump. You know, you can fix that. This is just a rough draft. So here is my number two. So, and I can draw that in that spot when I'm ready. So we have one, two, and then I'm gonna do my three. So you guessed it, to do number three, I am going to take another piece of paper and I'm gonna put it over my number two. So this is gonna be drawing number three. And I am going to trace number two. So that's why it's good to go over it maybe a little darker so you can see it. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of an outline what the number two remember I kept some of the eye I think I had a couple whiskers I kind of did these nubbins for feet I didn't put much detail and then I stopped the tail there okay so if we look at again I can take away the number two and just have three so I have to go from there to that's the next step so I need to make some changes and the changes I'm going to make are I'm going to definitely get rid of the ear. I'm gonna keep a little of the eye. The feet are probably gonna go maybe totally away or just little tiny little nubbins there. Definitely going to round out this face. Okay, so I'm gonna take the pen again and I am going to kind of get rid of that ear. You know, make it so it, it, you know, it comes way down. So I got rid of that nose. I'm gonna kind of start squaring off the behind. Again, these are rough drafts, so you can make edits. So if I just maybe do little, and then, you know, I have this kind of detail right here. You know, the mouse, um, the scroller. Maybe I just keep a little part of the eye. I might do some detail work in my final up there. Then again, my tail that's turning into the cord. And see how the tail kind of, I mean, the cord just fades off. So definitely going to just kind of maybe just come to a point there. All right. And then again, I can erase. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I have a document camera coming in the mail. So I don't have to hold my phone and I can have two hands to help <laughs> do this. <laughs> do the best I can. We're all just doing the best we can. Okay, so let's see if I can get all of this in one frame. So I have my number one rough draft, my number two, my number three, and number four. And you can see how funky that the that it gets. It's starting to morph. Like that one's not that funky, but this one looks really funky, but it looks more like the four. The one and the two are gonna look more alike, and your three and your four are gonna look a little bit more alike. So now I'm ready to add some details to my rough draft and then move on and have these all on one paper for my final draft. tip if you don't have a light table which most of you don't have or thin enough paper or you can't see through the paper when you're trying to trace just use a window and mother nature's light table so put the rough draft here like that put your drawing on top of it and then through the window with the sunlight you can trace your art